My name is Todd Cole, and this is my home. We call the Prune Pot. It's here in Cloverdale, California, in northern Sonoma County. When I bought the house, it was the middle of summer, very hot up here, and uh, it had an artifact sitting in the garden, which was a big iron cauldron. And as I asked around as to what that had been used for, folks told me it had been a pot for turning plums into prunes. The prune pot is now my fire, firewood uh, storage in the living room. So it's an artifact I like to keep around. The house sits in the bottom of Big Sulphur Creek Canyon, which is a, uh, the creek originates at the geysers, which is about 18 miles to the due east of the house. The house was built not as a residence, but as a historic power plant that burned redwood and used the water from the creek to create steam, to create, uh, generate electricity. I have a number of photos uh, of the house as when it was a power plant. It was built between 1902 and 1903, and we believe that it was most likely utilized until 1925 to 1930. And it was abandoned for about 15 years before the previous owner bought it and turned it into a residence. The main part of the house is fully original, uh, with the exception of the concrete floors that were poured in 1946. Um, the structure has not been improved in any way. Uh, it's, it's a 16-inch thick concrete wall with uh, stucco peeling from the surface, which in many ways uh, it gives it the patina that many people who are building homes up in this wine country would like. Uh, everybody who comes here says, oh, I feel like I'm in the south of France or, or, I'm, or I'm in you know, southern Italy. I love this house because of its scale uh, and the, bo the boldness of the rooms. Uh, it's, it's simple, it's bold, it's un uh, unfussy, uh, and it's a great space uh, in which to gather with a group of people. The house is unique in that it's got both interior rooms and exterior rooms. The first room being this, this courtyard that we're sitting in. Since right now you enter directly into the kitchen, this acts as uh, both living room and foyer. And then as you go from the, from the kitchen, you go into the great room. As I do with many of the gardens I design, I create various rooms with various intent. The rear garden behind the house is a lawn with a boxwood border and some beautiful oak trees. So that, the intention of that is to create a quiet place that you can view from the great room. The romance of this house is the big room, the, the, the turbine room, uh, which is now the living room. Uh, it's a, a square, 40 by 40 feet, with a free-spanning redwood truss ceiling. It's got great acoustics. I have friends who play piano and come up here and, and enjoy playing at the house. And I, I, I just love the volume. The sign above the front door says, no admittance danger. And that was a uh, faded, it was a faded uh, mural that was on the house when I bought it. Uh, it was barely legible and I had it restored because I thought it was uh, eminently appropriate for a powerhouse to have no admittance danger uh, painted over the front door. Having bought the house 13 years ago, it took me quite some time to figure out how to furnish the big room. It needed big furniture, bold furniture. I've tried to keep it bold and simple without getting too fussy. I think Pottery Barn chose my home to do a shoot uh, because of the boldness of, of the architecture and the simplicity of the detailing. Uh, I think of the pieces that I have from Pottery Barn as being bold and simple. I think it's rare to find uh, that exceptional historic building. There are lots of attempts to create this in the design world, and this is one of those rare, authentic places.